Hi guys, it's Shamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new NARS Power Matte Lipsticks. These are brand spanking new from NARS and at the time this goes up, they will not even be out yet, but they are launching very, very soon, so I thought I would get this up. Thank you so much to NARS for sending me these lipsticks to try. I'm trying a couple of shades that I picked. Hopefully I picked the right shades. We shall see. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the... Video. As you guys know, I've been loving NARS this year. They have been doing so many amazing things. Some of my favorite bronzers, my favorite powder bronzer, blush and duo. NARS have been killing it this year. So today I'm gonna to be testing out the brand new NARS Power Matte Lipsticks. These are the first lipsticks I've tried from NARS for a very, very long time and I'm excited to try them. I didn't really know what shades I was getting. I picked two shades, but I just kind of gambled. I probably should have gone for a brighter shade. I picked the shade American Woman 112 and No Angel 101. There are loads of shades on here. This is the stuff they sent me. So there are 15 new shades and they really do vary. Say so they've got a deep plum, a soft mauve, rose pink, rose brown, pink beige, soft brown, pink, peachy coral, coral pink, hot coral, red orange, vivid siren red, maple red, brick red, dusty rose, and rich berry and I was very tempted to get a red but I just didn't. I got American Woman 112 which they say is a dusty rose and I also got No Angel 101 which is a soft brown pink. Those for me felt like my type of shade. It's going to be available in the UK from the 16th of September at NARS and look fantastic and then nationwide in the UK from the 1st of October. It's going to be in the US on from the 31st of August at Sephora and NARS. Pictures from this look amazing, like they look so cool. I don't know why, it was just girls and sunglasses with matte lips, it just looks like a vibe. So these are £26 and 34 US dollars, not a bad price at all for a NARS lipstick. Turn up the intensity with Power Matte Lipstick, NARS's all new sensation in matte lipstick. In one swipe, the infinite colour glides on to last 10 hours and sets to a smooth matte finish. It sounds like it's going to be very similar to that uh, Dior one that I just bought the other day. And I'm feeling like, I've tried a few new lipsticks and I'm feeling like doing a review of all the new lipsticks because I just tried the Chanel, I tried the Dior recently and now I'm trying the NARS. And I think it could be quite nice to see how they wear, compare them to each other, see which ones wear better. So I'm going to be testing these out. I'm going to do a wear test. First I'm going to show you guys the packaging, show you some swatches and then I'm going to get in to a demo.
Those are the swatches on. I actually am very surprised by this, um, these lipsticks. The No Angel one is a lot more terracotta than I thought it was going to be. It's got a bit more of an orangeness to it. The Movie Nude is nice, American Woman. That's nice. It's very similar to other things I have. It looks very similar to the Hermes um, and not very far off from the the Lisa Aldridge Vel Velvet Petal, although that Lisa Aldridge Velvet Petal is a lot more pink. This one's a bit more mauvey. The brown one's kind of throwing me off. I'm not really sure what it's going to look like on. I have a feeling it's not going to look good. But it does, in a way, remind me of that NARS bronzer duo that I got. It has that same undertone, that warm undertone. It comes in the signature NARS black and white packaging. I feel like that looks really good. But the actual packaging itself is really pretty as well. I love the fact that they're all different colours and they're all indicative of the shade. I think that's really nice. It was so silky and glided on my arm so much that I messed up my second swatch because it was so, so silky, which I do really like. The feel, they've got that kind of matte feel to them, which is really nice. And they're just like classic lipsticks which is really nice. They are also angled at the top, so you can just like apply them super easily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the brownie one first because I have a feeling that one's gonna look the most insane. This is the shade No Angel. It's the one I'm a bit more nervous about. It's a bit browner than I thought it was gonna be and it's a bit more terracotta than I thought it was gonna be. But I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try it on without a lip liner and then I'm gonna take it off and then apply it with a lip liner. That's the shade American Woman on. It definitely looks exactly how I thought it was going to look. I'm going to try it on with a little bit of lip liner. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense. That is it on with the lip liner. I actually much prefer it this way. It looks really nice. It looks like a really nice nude, a warm nude. I didn't think I was going to like this shade after I tried it on without lip liner, but with lip liner, this is a vibe. I'm feeling it, and I think I'll probably put this back on depending on what the other one is like. So, really nice, actually. Lovely. Lovely. Summery, but warm. Warm, but summery. Loving it. So next up, I'm going to be trying the shade American Woman. This one is mauvey, this one is rosy, this one is pinkish. I'm excited about this one. I feel like it's going to be a good shade for me all year round, especially in autumn, winter, when I go for a quite, like, pale nude with a with a lip liner. So I think this will be good. I don't think it will be good on its own, but I'm going to try it on its own first, just so we can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to take them off, take it off, and then apply it with a lip liner. I think both of these without lip liner do feel a bit patchy on. They glide on really nicely and they do feel smooth, but they just don't have like a complete evenness to them. They don't look like flawless on the lip. They look kind of patchy, which I don't love. But with the lip liner, the other one looks really nice. So I'm hoping that this one will be the same. So guys, that is the Movi Dusty Rose American Woman on. I do like this. I definitely can see myself wearing this one a lot. I don't think it goes with my makeup as well because I do have that NARS bronzer on and, I'm, and I really feel like, like the No Angel shade is pulling from that bronzer. It's a very similar color. I'm actually going to swatch them side by side just so we can see because I really feel like they're the same undertone. This is the NARS bronzer I'm talking about. This is a little duo that came out over summer. It's got like a very similar undertone to it that's the bronzer 
this is the lipstick here very similar the, the lipsticks actually a bit rosier a bit pinkier they do look really similar on which is why I think that worked really well together once I put the lip liner on they really complemented each other this feels completely lightweight on that feels like I've got nothing on my lips um, and once it dries down I don't think it's completely transfer resistant but it does feel really light it feels like there's absolutely nothing on my lips so I do really like that I like this shade I just don't think it goes with this makeup so I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put the no angel back on And this does dry down very quickly it's after like within a minute it's completely dried down and you can't rub your lips together in the same way anymore but I do really like this shade and it reminds me of when I used to put like my M Cosmetics blusher on my cheeks and then dab a little bit on my lips it's just that kind of warmth um, on the brown that actually looks really nice so I really like these shades I think they're both really nice I think I wouldn't wear either of them on their own and I don't really love the quality of them on their own as much but on top of lip liner they sit really nicely and they they work really well both shades work really well with the same lip liner which is really nice because that's generally how i tend to wear my lipsticks so i really like them both actually good shades formulation really nice i'm gonna wear it throughout the day and see how it goes the dry down is good it feels like wait my lips do feel a bit dry because i have been using my cellar water and it's not like lisa eldred where it feels creamy it feels moisturizing but this one is supposed to be transfer resistant and 10 hour wear whereas the lisa eldred isn't so i guess it's that kind of payoff you have to decide do you want it something that's really long lasting that you don't have to reapply or do you want something that is super creamy and lip balm s this one it's completely dry now so I don't feel as hydrated but I do really like the shade and I really like how light it feels even though it does feel a little bit dry I'm going to do a quick wear test it is now 11:35 a.m i've had this on for about five minutes but let's just say 11:30. so i'll be wearing this throughout the day and we shall see how it looks see how long it lasts i've just put on one swipe because they said one swipe is enough so let's see if that is true it's now 1:10, and i think the lips has gone <laughs> my lips are very dry so i don't think 10 hour wears right but it was nice while it lasted a bit drying though I do really like both shades of these and I can see myself wearing them both in different ways. This one's very summery, it's very warm, it's really nice and warming on my skin. It probably looked really nice with a tan uh, and a nice orange blush. I think the other one is really good for like winter and when I'm a bit more like edgy. Uh, and I like both of them very much. I just think on their own, not, not necessarily for me, but with a lip liner, which is how I wear all lipsticks, perfect. So happy with those. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying anything? Will you be trying anything? Do you like the look of these? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.